Hello, Gary Hanser, and welcome to Kane Self Defense with Master Gary Nance. In this video, I'm going to answer two questions that were asked of me. One of them is, do I own cane swords? And the other question was, what do I think of them? Well, yes, I do own about four of them. And I think they're very cool. I think they're great to have as a novelty idea or a, more of a decorational idea. Because there's a lot of things that can go wrong with owning one of these. Now, let me go ahead and just kind of tell you about the ones I have. I have four different ones. I'm just going to go over one right now. Now, one of the things about a cane sword is the fact that most of them are usually the same length of a regular cane. Because what were they designed for originally? They were designed for walking around, mobility. So you want to make sure that it's the same length that you can use for walking. Now, I'm going to put this one down for a minute. Now, this one here I've had for a while. Now, out of the four, I have um, two of them are full-length swords. One of them is, I think, a half or three-quarter, and the other one is kind of more dagger style. Now, this here is a very cheap cane sword. Very cheap. And what I mean by that is very cheap. In other words, it's going to break if I ever had to use this for real. Now, it's a nice-looking cane. It's, you know, the shaft is aluminum. It's hollow, of course, to hold the blade. Have a small tip down here for walking, nice brass area here, or kind of a fake looking brass. And up here I have an eagle. Fake little rubies for the eyes. Now understand, can I use this cane as a cane for self-defense? You can use any cane or walking stick for self-defense, you can. Granted, some are gonna be weaker than others, so you, only, you might only get one or two strikes before it breaks or gets damaged, but that might be all you need to do to get away. Now, this one here you can use for striking, and I'm not going to hit it super hard. I'll explain why. But you can strike with it, you can do your bayonet strike, you can do your rifle strike. With this one, with the eagle, where the back uh, tail goes, or the wings go, fold it up, you notice how long that is. Well, you can use that for pulling somebody in, for manipulation of your body parts, or also for striking somebody solid hard. Now, we'll go ahead and get to the nut and bolts of it. Got to do about three, three unscrews to pull out the sword portion. Again, this is a small, if you look to where it goes in, it's just more than half way of the sword, I mean of the shaft. So it's not the full length of a katana, as you want to say, but it's still got a pretty good length to it. Now, remember what I said, this is cheap. If you listen... I don't know if you can hear that, but this is all made really cheap. And that's one bolt in there. So you can pretty much bet it's going to break. That's why I didn't want to hit that super hard because it may break this inside. Because when it's inside, you can hear it rattling. Now, because this is more of a novelty idea, this is not sharp. I have one of them that's really sharp at home. But this one's not sharp, so I brought this one so you can understand. Now, don't get me wrong. It's pointy as hell. It'll stick through you. But it's really not going to cut you. It's going to beat you and then probably break now when you put it inside and you tighten it back up and you're walking around you don't hear too much because you got it in there tight but if you hit you hear that aluminum so you know now if somebody sees this and sees this the eagle and they know anything about canes they're going to oh, that's a nice looking cane their first thought might be i wonder if there's a sword in there now, some canes were designed to have a sword, but a lot were designed back in the day, and there's a couple of them out there. When you do turn this, instead of having a sword or a dagger, it has a little cylinder that pops up with a, um, a cork, and that holds your cigar. So a lot of guys back in the day that you know, smoked the cigars, they kept a cigar in their, inside their um, cane. And there's a couple of umbrellas that had that same feature. It's kind of cool if you ever if you're into cigar if you're if you're a major cigar guy you've probably seen them so you probably know more about that than I do. Now, again, that's why I don't want to hit super hard; just could damage it. Now, here's the thing about these sword canes. Now, remember, I said this one's cheap. Okay, they do have some that are very nice, very expensive. But the first thing they were made to do was for mobility, walking around, and then if you have to defend yourself, you can defend yourself. Now, these were originally designed, the, the 
sword cane, when you pulled it out to use this to defend yourself, you also had a stick. So you just didn't want to throw this away. Besides slicing and stabbing, you can hit. So you can block, slice, boom, boom. And you have two self-defense tools in one in a way. Now, what I don't like about sword canes is the fact that, number one, um, and I, you know what? Concealed weapons permit you're carrying a gun, carrying a knife, something. Yeah, but I don't, when it comes to something like this, I'm not even going to cover that because I don't know. Does my concealed weapons permit allow me to carry a concealed cane with a sword? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. You have to check your states and all that. But I wouldn't carry it because number one, well, number one was what I just said, but number two, traditional regular cane. I could go on a plane, a train, university, courthouse. I can go overseas to other countries. I cannot carry this in any of those areas. Number one, the metal detector is going to catch it. Number two, it's illegal. You cannot walk in a courthouse with this. You cannot go on a plane. You cannot do any of that stuff. And after a while, some of these, if it's not, remember how I said you want to have a really expensive, not expensive, but a well made one? Sometimes, this starts to loosen up on its own and that's not a good thing but again if you carry this you're limited to where you can carry this now let's talk about self-defense i use this to defend myself somebody attacks me i happen to hit him let's say i hit him he falls right i do catch him in the head somehow i injured this person pretty bad i'm I, if, if it comes down to the worst case scenario i get arrested i go to one room this goes to another room called Exhibit A. Now, go to court. Well, your, your honor, Gary Ness was defending himself. He had his walking cane. He used it to get the guy off him and get him. Something went wrong, yada, yada. So the jury sees this. Mobility aid. Same situation. Carrying this. Even if I don't pull out the blade and I strike him and something happens, he gets injured and I go to one room, this becomes exhibit A in another room. You can bet your bottom dollar, the minute whatever attorney's against me, or if the state's against me, whoever, the minute I go in front of that courtroom, this is exactly how this is gonna look to the jurors. They're gonna have it separated. And now instead of saying, well, your honor, Mr. Hernandez was walking with his mobility aid and he used it to defend himself, they're going to go, Mr. Hernandez is walking around with a weapon. And that's exactly how they're going to look at it. So, you got to look at it like that. Now, if you like these and you carry them, you're walking around town, that's great. Just make sure you understand the laws and everything. And if you do use this, no matter whether it's pulling it out or just using it to hit somebody, Chances in court are going to be a lot harsher with this than they would on this. Even if you have the teardrop or the shark's teeth, you're in better odds than you're going to have this. But going back to the original questions, yes, I have them. Yes, I think they're cool. But my opinion is this is more for novelty, more for decoration. Even though you can walk around town with it and use it for mobility, I think you're a lot better off with this one. That doesn't mean these aren't fun to have. I got them too and collect them. Just understand what you're doing with them. So, hopefully that helps. Thank you very much. Gary Nunes, thank you, and I will see everybody real soon. Good night.